Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, back with more Minecraft. Anyway, um, wasn't really doing much in between episodes this time, um, and we've already gotten, well, I would say some there, there's some bad news, but someone didn't like me saying that there was some bad news when related to Minecraft. There's some troubling news though, so let's head on down. Nothing much has changed ever since between episodes. Um, so last episode we hit that fortress, we got some more blaze rods, thanks to those blazes, uh, and we may be ready for the next step. So um, I came down here, wanted to meet good old Fred, or Bert, or whatever his name is, and he seems to have gone missing. Um, no real disruption here, just just an empty room. And I thought I made this pretty secure so that he wouldn't. Uh, the game has been having some bugs where uh, mobs are seemingly frozen in place, yet their invisible entities were wandering around, but nope, this is not the case here. Um, we had this double layer protection, so um, no one was sort of escaping. There's no evidence of any creatures blasting through or here to sort of say, yes, we killed your little friend here. He just all went up and disappeared. So my theory is, and I did check around the mine a little bit, I did have a hole right here. Um, and in there is just a dark hallway where mobs spawn. I thought it might be good to just say, hey, if I get the random skeleton or creeper or zombie, then I can just kill him through that little hole, and yeah, no one's the wiser. So I'm wondering if a skeleton shot the button for the door, which would leave it open, and then shot through the door to uh, my unsuspecting villager. I don't think that there would be any uh, way arrows can get through there. Why am I trying to hit the door? Draw. Uh, I just want to try it out for myself. No, it, it tends to go into the door, not through these little window holes. I know I'm not that good of a shot, so I wouldn't suspect uh, the mobs to be as well. Um, but yeah, that's troubling. Uh, I did get some mending books off of him before um, he disappeared, though, so I'm not too, too worried about... Um, my stock on getting those if I should need them. Uh, and I have the means to create another um, vendor villager should I need to. Uh, it's not high on my priority list, but uh, let's head on up here for a quick second. Because uh, in this chest, there, as you see, we have a tag for Bert the Second already made. So eventually we'll we'll secure another villager. And I think we'll make sure that he has a proper place uh, up uh, up here. Uh, so as you can see, I made myself a little hut down there and maybe we'll trap a another villager zombie and turn him um, sometime between episodes. Like I said, not too too concerned with it. Um, it's just, just a little bit of a bummer that uh, after waiting well, not so long. It was actually uh, after waiting a bit and going through the process and especially uh, especially um, having to uh, turn him over was a little bit of a challenge just because it took so long. Uh, I do see a creeper, so there we go. Um, let's go back to the safety of our house. I did want to get the creeper just because I'm still on the hunt for gunpowder should I need it. Oh, and cat got me a chicken. Perfect. Uh, but let me go down here. I was playing around with the mending. Um, I wasn't getting a lot of uh, stuff from diamond swords, but I did have a couple of good iron swords that I combined together, added mending, and now I have this, which is actually not too bad, at least as far as iron swords are concerned. Like, I mean, it's dealing at least as much damage as... Uh, a diamond sword, but like, I mean, if I had diamond swords with 
sharpness three or better, then yeah, that might change matters. But for now, uh, it's serviceable. Uh, let's get rid of this carrot. Uh, so yeah, that's sort of where we're at right now. Um, I haven't gone back to the fortress. I will eventually, just to sort of clear it out, get uh, get the uh, mobs spawning in it so that I can collect blaze rods and and maybe even take down some wither skeletons just to get their skulls because uh, we'll need them for the second boss, not the uh, dragon that we'll be facing. Um, but the dragon is sort of like our first objective in terms of what we need to do next. And while we can go back to the fortress, um, I think we've spent enough time in the last three episodes just sort of monkeying around the nether. So what I intend to do instead, we have um, Enderman, Ender Pearls, Ender Pearls? Enderman Pearls, Enderman Pools. You know, they're gonna be called pools from now on. I can never seem to call them pearls when I mean to. <laughs> um, yeah, Ender Pools. It may say pearls, but they mean pools. Um, but let's take a stack. Like I said, I have lots, and I even have that many in my nether base as well, so no shortage. Uh, what we will need... Uh, do I need the full stack? I don't... You know what? I might. I might, rabbit. I might. So if we... Let's just start making this. Okay, and then an ender... Ender pool with some blaze fire makes us an eye of ender. And that is sort of what we need. Uh, so yeah, let's let's do the whole thing of blaze powders. And then we'll do the whole thing of Ender Eyes of Ender. Um my um my thinking is that we, the last, the very last thing that we need is to find ourselves a portal to the end. And those are only um, located in strongholds. And strongholds are in the overworld somewhere. We haven't really gotten any indication of where to find one yet. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. You know what? I am going to take a couple of these. I'm, I'm just thinking of what I would need in order to sort of um, need to bring with me. Uh, I do have I do have bones, so if I meet any wolves along the way, I'm going to befriend them, that's for sure. Um, my food stocks. Is that? That's bread. Oh, take the baked potato. I don't know if I want to... Should I make more meat? I should probably make more meat. Where is my meat? Did I already make some there? I might. You know what? I'll take some chicken. Chicken's just as good as the cooked beef. Uh, okay. So, and I don't need the, uh... <laughs> Too much stuff going on. We'll put that away. Do I want to take a couple of golden apples? Just to be really sure. Every so often I... <laughs> I mean to take something and I don't. And then I find myself in a situation of... Where didn't... Why didn't I bring that so-and-so thing? Alright. Three golden apples, but it'll be my sort of last ditch effort if things really go south. Uh, okay. Um, so my thought process for this episode is let's see if we can find ourselves a stronghold. And fortunately, strongholds are much easier to find than, say, like the Nether Fortress. Because if you... If you equip the Eyes of Ender and toss them, I've never done this before, so bear with me. 
You know what? I'll leave first. I uh, just want to make sure I do have my compass on me so I can make my way home. Uh, all right, what do I do? Uh, do I drop it? <laughs> I thought you can throw the, the eyes of... Oh, there it goes. Okay. So it says it's that way. And I threw two of them. Did I lose one? You have um, the ability or the chance that uh, an eye vendor will break once it tells you where to go. And I think I did lose. Uh, I, I don't know. But it says it, whenever it floats in the sky and it sort of points into a direction, it's sort of telling you, okay, this is the way you have to go in order to go to the closest stronghold. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know how much we'll find when wandering around, but hopefully we won't get into too much trouble. Considering that this is not the nether, I would suspect that we won't. A nice little cave system down there. Might be worth checking out once uh, once we're back. I'll drown too. Should I... Should drowned die? If I find any that have tridents, then yeah, they're going to be... Because that was the other thing I was thinking of, is like, do I really want to spend half an hour plus farming um, drowned in order to get uh, tridents? We do. Uh, we definitely do. Um, but I think this might be more of our to-do list before we go for our main weapon. Our main stabby weapon, that is. All right, a little bit further we get into this clearing, and then we'll see what the Ender Eye has to tell us. Fly, I fly! Still going that way. Goody. Not breaking. More drowned. And we we'll like to give me a trident. Of course, they have to have the trident first. Which it looks like these guys do not. But. And that's why I didn't opt to take the horse either. I didn't want to have it run into a situation where it was going to be trouble to traverse without uh, without the horse. But it is getting dark. Great. <laughs> as long as I can get into the bed before the monsters come, then we're all good. Go pick up the bed, and we're off again. There's that tower. I wonder if that's that same tower that we sieged uh, way back in... I don't want to say way back. Episode 10? 11 maybe? If I really feel like it, I can always put the exact um, number up on the screen now. Alright. Oh, we're still going this way. But at least that should give us some sort of indication of where to go. So that's a good uh, start off point. And hey, cows, we like cows. I generally like using this iron sword because it's got fortune three. So it'll make it much easier when I actually start farming blazes and creepers and all sorts of other stuff where I know their drops count, uh, especially the ground. So 
any drowned with tridents wanting to come my way, uh, now's a good opportunity. I'm swimming in this ocean. I'm very exposed. Come get me. I guess not. We'll swim around this island just to see if we can uh, get some, but doesn't look like it. We can get some fish, but you know what? We're good. We have beef and chicken. Right, so we'll traverse a little bit more. And hopefully the uh, ice vendor will keep us pointing in the right direction. There's a freaky looking cliff over in the distance. More cowses. No cowses. Just make sure we have a good supply of beef going on. And we have a village. So maybe some good stuff here. I'm not going to keep my hopes up, but we'll check it out quickly and then continue on our on our trek. Oh, big cave system underneath, that's for sure. Oh no, ruined village. All right. So let's see. Ooh, unknown maps. We'll, uh, I still have my axe with me, right? Okay, we don't need a cartography ca table. A cartography cable. A cartography table. Hello. Oh my goodness. It's going to be light outside. What ever will you do? Oh, these sillies are just killing themselves. So yeah, we won't, uh, we won't dilly dally. Just make sure that, uh, oh, another chest. Emeralds, we'll do those. Do you not want to get me? All right, well, maybe we're stuck on something. I have no idea. Uh, is there something that we can get rid of? We don't have any knowledge shells. I should keep that. Ugh, I'm already full. All right, well, moving along. Nothing in there. At least we have some bells. No, nope, no sparkle. No sparkle. Still a ways off from... from the stronghold. Uh, another brewing stand. Don't need one. Too bad. Stuck in your own little hole. I'll just keep moving along. Oh. We actually went too far. I'm surprised the village didn't uh, sparkle then. Alright, let's head back a little bit. So here's that ruined village, and again, good indicator if it is close by. So let's go somewhere where... <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back! Don't mind me. That's a strong cobweb keeping up that tree. Anyway, moving along. 
get out of here before it gets dark because those guys will come out when it's dark. We don't want that. Alright. Got some field here. I know we pulled it just before we got to that strange cliff face. But let's see what it does now. Oh, back this way. Oh, I think that one broke. It does have a good percentage to break when you use it like that. So, that's fine. And if there's a big cave system under here, then at least, uh, hopefully we can just say, all right, let's just head down and see if we can find it. Because finding the, um, the latitude and the longitude is one thing. You also have to find it underground. Okay, this way. So let's go to the other side of the village. Maybe the sparkles under the bell is just not a bedrock thing. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. All right. Huh. It must be right under this village. Every time I get to a side of the village, it points me right back into it. So, you know what? We'll say that, okay. Because uh, the next step would be to see if we can mine ourselves down a bit. And I'll do it from the central courtyard. Maybe it'll be a good indication of where to start. Uh, at least I got myself some light, so... Some more iron here, which is fine. a little bit of a drop here I don't know well we're at Y27 we need to go down a little bit more so maybe we about face go down a little bit here just as long as it's not a sheer drop Hopefully, hopefully with that that drop, there's a little bit of a cave system, and we can find something that looks um, strongholdy-ish uh, pretty quickly that way. Like I said we should be like right on top of it as far as the eyes of Ender are telling us. So fingers crossed. And before we begin, let's make ourselves some more torches. I know we want to make sure that this is well lit. Oh, 
Oh, hello, witch. Feeling that she can't get down here, so maybe we can take. Ugh. Maybe wandering around here with a witch on the loose. We got some gold. And come on, there's gotta be there's gotta be signs of strongholds nearby. We have a mine shaft. I don't really want a mine shaft. We have diamonds. I'll gladly take diamonds if I had the inventory space for them. Uh, we'll leave it for now. Yeah, surprising I know I'm leaving diamonds behind. Uh, Alright, we got some... Ow. That's what I was afraid of would happen. Health and hunger aren't too bad, so we'll just sort of wait here until the effects wear off and then see what uh, what we can do. Come on. You know what we'll do. Make ourselves a little alcove. Maybe it'd be worth us uh, setting up shop here. At least we can dump that chest and clear off some of our pocket space. And if things go south, at least some of our important stuff won't be. Uh, be too far behind us. Uh, so let's do that. So we can dump uh, potion can come back. We'll dump the Nala shell. Uh, we don't need leather. Rotten flesh could care less about. Uh, we'll keep the iron ore just because we're going to grab more when uh, opportunity arises. Granite? Who wants granite? to full and of course I uh, like to make sure that nothing spawns in here ah okay where are you witch Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> the 
probably our biggest threat down, so... Uh. Alright, and now that the coast is clear, uh, we can get ourselves some, some of this stuff, including this diamond. sure that uh, nothing's around that will cause it to disappear and never come back. Thank you. Just a twofer, and that's fine. Because that twofer looks like it's a threefer. get a water bucket because it looks like we have some lava here. I don't... Hmm. If push comes to shove. I'm going to go back up to the surface and try and get uh, an idea of where that... Uh, uh, where that um, stronghold it may be, but so far not having the best of luck. Uh, it's kind of dark. Yeah. Okay, so I see. That's where I came up. That's fine, we'll clear it out a little bit more just to make it easier to, you know, get back and forth. It's proving to be a little bit more difficult to find uh, find a stronghold down here. Uh, so maybe I'll try a couple of things, and if I uh, find anything interesting, we'll turn the cameras back on and reconvene there. So be right back. All right, guys, a little bit of a trek, and uh, I think it's going to start paying off. Um, yeah, it's basically right underneath this bell. Uh, I uh, had thrown an eye, it went straight down, and I took the coordinates. So let's head back. When I'll probably make a better staircase and sort of entrance and exit to it once we finally get it all sort of sorted. So here's the big staircase that I sort of created from the offset. down, we'll head down. I still have my little room here and I've actually set my bed. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll sleep out the night. But I set my bed and it's now my respawn point. And I've dumped a bunch of stuff into this chest just so I don't have to haul it back and forth. Uh, so then the coordinates I was sort of going off of, I believe were 2177 by 480. So I went this way until I hit the 480 mark. Ish. And then I went down here to until I hit the 2177. So it was a little bit of digging. 
Um, wasn't even off of one of those paths yet. Uh, yeah, and here's all the stone that I cut away. So I cut, cut out this room, still nothing to sort of signify that there was a stronghold. So I started digging up in a spiral staircase sort of fashion until we get these types of bricks. And these were the things that I was sort of looking for. So, um, before, no, potato. Before I become a potato, let's break through what we got here. All right, this is a very small fortress. All right, maybe we want to go up there. There we go. Okay, now this is starting to look a little bit familiar. Oh. <laughs> A little bit of a trick, but okay, we're starting to make uh, we're starting to make progress here. So let's get ourselves a little staircase up, and we'll close that off. Uh, we will need to light the way, and we'll sort of have to deal with any sort of mobs that we sort of come in contact with. Um, shouldn't be anything above and beyond zombies, creepers, and skeletons, I think, but. Uh, it is a vast structure, and we just need it for one thing. So, oh, got a zombie. Goodbye. Ow. There we go. Is that another way in? Through one of these channels, I guess. I said we'll sort of investigate a little bit more and just make sure that we can get ourselves an easy in and out. Right, so door door to what? Oh, door to a door. To a library. Alright, so you've got these libraries as well. Here. Libraries are good for bookcases. I don't know if you'll see much treasures in here. Alright, so nothing up here. A little bit of investigating to go on, but at least um, we're exactly where we need to be. Uh, okay, so nothing. get our torches back because that I don't think that uh, went anywhere beyond uh, what we saw but we have plenty of other options ahead of us so oh, a chest business. All right. That, my friends, is the portal room, along with a silverfish spawner, which, you know what? Go away. We're going to get rid of these guys. We don't care about keeping the silverfish spawner. Uh, so, goodbye. Yep. <laughs> All right. So we have a portal, and... It didn't take us long to find, so we still have a whole lot of stronghold to sort of take care of. Um, explore, find stuff. Well, let's see what's down here. It's already lit. Oh, another library. So if I wanted bookshelves, I can come in with a silk touch pickaxe and pick that place clean. Uh, but for now, all I want to do is mark my sort of route to where I need to go. Uh, you know what? We'll put a thing there so things don't spawn. 
the torches on the ground will be the ones that sort of direct me, okay, this is exactly where I need to go. Uh, and we'll see about, was this the big, yeah, that was the big entrance, I guess. So maybe we'll, but considering we found the portal room so fast, uh, you know, I'll, uh, let's uh, investigate a little bit more of the fortress and see our stronghold and see if there's anything that we can, uh, can find. Uh, I do want to get myself set up uh, with an offshoot room. I wanted to sort of make it very close to here uh, because once we start finding, fighting the Ender Dragon, if we should happen to die, then I want to make sure that we respawn right here so we can jump back in and get to the action. Um, but all in due time. That is sort of stuff that I may want to take a look at um, after the fact. Uh, so torch there this goes up and to nothing awesome so we can make this our entrance exit as well oh, all right well <laughs> plenty of things to be had uh, doo -doo. Oh, another chest and another saddle and getting some good stuff here, so at least we can get uh, our armor replenished without having to worry about uh, eating up too much iron. And another exit. All right, awesome. That's so great. Is there... That leads off to nothing. That leads off to the portal room. That leads down. Where is it to go? I said I spent like an hour investigating one of these before. Maybe there's another entrance through one of these libraries. I don't know. Usually not on the second floor, but no, nope, nothing up here. Maybe this is a teeny tiny stronghold. Re really not expecting to find uh, results that quickly. I'm hearing zombies though, but like I mean, there's a vast. Um, cave system nearby as we've already known. You know what? If that's all this uh, stronghold is uh, holding for us, then uh, I'm not going to complain. I just... Oh, right this way. Okay. Hello, zombie. Hello, villager zombie. We would keep you, but we don't want to. Uh, okay, door. Is it not the same door we went in before, is it? It is. I just went around in a big circle. Ugh, alright. Uh, let's just see. There is not anything beyond these walls. Uh... Nope. <laughs> Nothing that way. So, yeah, let me, um, let me do some digging here, maybe. Um, I'm sure there's a way I know I can get back to where I need to go. So, I'll, uh, do some scouting around and we'll see if we can't, uh, make this a little bit easier to get in and out of so be right back in a moment okay project time i think
All right, guys, uh, we've sort of cleaned up a little bit around the stronghold. Uh, we put in whatever um, eyes vendor we have left. So we got to bring some more from our main location. But for now, uh, we're good for getting something. Let's shot an arrow. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I made my own little room sort of close to the portal room. Uh, something where I can sort of craft stuff if I need to. Uh, plenty of supplies to have when, you know, that time comes. When a zombie attacks. We didn't want you. Uh, so we scattered around and... Uh, I can't remember. Is this... Oh, this is the other library. So I did punch a hole through one of the libraries. Not this one. Uh, there was a couple of Chezer... Chezer? Chezer trash? treasure chests uh, in these libraries so they had a bunch of enchanted books and other cool stuff like paper um, so we got that and we took it back home for now uh, which one this one I believe is where it goes down to right so we sort of <laughs> punched a hole in this wall to make it a little bit more direct went through the library put in this hallway uh, and we are just sort of going through the cave system and I thought, well, you know what, that's okay, but, you know, um, maybe a little bit long just to get up and down and to and from and wherever we need to go. So there are two entrances from here, but um, I may just sort of wall it up, put a doorway in, do whatever. I don't think they'll be, uh, oh, I don't think they'll be for what we need here. Uh, so then I came up here and oh right this spiral staircase so this is what I thought might uh, work better for us I put in a central column and we can go all the way up and it reaches the surface it is a little bit of a trek though but it is one direct spiral staircase up to the surface directly above the stronghold as intended and we knew that this sort of came up in the middle of that deserted village which is all fine and good uh, put some walls to sort of protect it from uh, any of the uh, uh, I don't know any of the mobs that may be coming around also completed the tree so it's not so I don't know, broken uh, but decided to leave it because, you know, why not? It almost came up. If it was over a little bit, it could have came up right on that central column and it would have been fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, there's a nice direct way and you've got a doorway in and out. So if we need to sort of get down there quickly. Uh, but then I thought, well, maybe that's just not fast enough. So I made this little hallway. And we have a couple of elevators going up and down. And this, when sort of your down elevator, ow, and it takes us right to the stronghold. And that's sort of where we sort of started here. There's that central staircase again. But if we go up here, that was our down. Here's our up. Zoom right to the surface. It's the first time I've actually built myself a bubble column elevators, um, both down and up. So, um, glad to got that going. So, yeah, I think uh, we'll we'll still have to clean this up after um, we end this, and you know, I'll I'll get supplies um, off camera for the next episode. But for now. Uh, we're pretty good as far as this securing this um, stronghold. And it's a, sort of a good thing that it's a, as small as it is. Um, when exploring the big ones, it, they get tend to get wieldy and, you know, there's never, you know, you get lost in them easily. You can't tell which, which is uh, your rights from your lefts or whatever the case may be. So... For now, I think this should do for our particular um, our, our particular plans, especially uh, 
getting towards the end, which will be coming shortly. Um, this was, like I said, uh, the final key, but uh, I think everything's going sort of along that plan nicely. All we need to do is just sort of gear up a little bit more and then we'll be ready. But that should just about do it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, uh, hit me up with a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming and Minecraft goodness. But until the next time, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.